Hello, good morning, and welcome back to Weekly Vlog. So, it is Monday morning, it is my holiday Monday again, it's Monday the 2nd of April, um, and basically, I'm not going to go into kind of why I was away now, but I might do later in this vlog. Um, but I am starting weekly vlogging again because Joe is coming home next week, a week tomorrow, which is ridiculously exciting. And um, I wanted to like document this. So, so it is currently about 10 to 8 on a bank holiday. Obviously I'm not working, um, but dedication, I'm going to the gym. So I'm getting ready. I'm gonna go there for nine, um, have a quick workout, and then come home. I am sorry that the first time you see me, it's like this again, but um, it's not really gonna get much better throughout this day. So yeah, I'm gonna put some makeup on quickly. No, I'm not. I'll put makeup on because I'm going to the gym. Um, I'm gonna get ready. I sort my hair out, get dressed. Blah blah blah. And I will see you in a minute. Slight change of plan. <laughs> Just checked my buses and my my apparently quarter past eight one is now not due until nine. Um, obviously because they haven't updated their timetable recently. Um, so the next bus that me and Kerry could get that we both get into town for the same time is half past nine, um, which would then mean we can we couldn't like gym until 10 so what I've decided because we normally go um, Monday Wednesday Saturday um, I went on Saturday no I, did I didn't go yesterday yeah I did go Saturday in the end because I was gonna go on Good Friday as well but I didn't um, but yeah so what we're gonna do we're gonna go tomorrow and Thursday instead so Tuesday and Thursday but to save me having wasted getting up early and not getting in any exercise because I really didn't do a lot yesterday. I didn't even hit 5,000 steps yesterday. I'm gonna put my gym mirror on anyway. I'm gonna go for like a 20 minute walk or something. Just plug my headphones in and walk um, while it's not raining. And then I'm gonna come back, have a nice cup of tea and some breakfast, which I wasn't planning to have. I was planning to have a protein shake. So that's exciting. Um, and then I will catch you in a bit. So I am back, I've like kept my Fitbit on the, not the whole time because like I just had a shower and stuff but literally like to the bathroom, took it off, got in the shower, put it back on again when I got out because I was like I'm not missing out on steps because although I walked for about 26 minutes I think it was, um, I didn't get as many steps in as I wanted to but that's fine because I have stuff to do today. First off though, obviously I've had a shower and wash my hair. Um, and I have a face mask on, as you can tell. Um, but I do have some tidying to do today. No change there then. Um, I need to do a load of washing. I need to sort out all of that stuff. I promise, I am literally probably the one of the one I haven't vlogged in a while. Um, I'm like one of the most organized people, like borderline OCD, but I'm like equally as messy. I don't know, it's organised chaos, I promise. Um, but yeah, so that is my task for today. But first off, it is quarter past nine. Um, I'm going to go have breakfast because I haven't done that yet and have a well-deserved cup of tea. And yeah, I might catch you for a bit of, um, you know, not speed cleaning because it's not going to be very speedy, but a bit of... Um, cleaning, montage tidying thing. Um, so yeah, in a bit. Right, face mask is washed off, tea is made, breakfast is made, and I'm in <laughs> the best outfit ever. May as well show you a quick OOTD. Black leggings, black cat jumper, slippers, and under my slippers, poo sheen socks. Because, yeah, I'm an adult. <laughs> And I can wear whatever the hell I like. Um, so yeah, I'm going to eat my breakfast before it goes soggy and horrible. 
and actually I might share with you a couple of like the kind of bits I'm eating because I started Weight Watchers um, a week and a bit ago and I thought it might be quite interesting to share some like ideas obviously there's a lot of people that do kind of food diaries generally and then there's people that do kind of their Weight Watchers and Slimming World ones so I thought it might be quite interesting to share mine because I'm gluten slash wheat um, and lactose intolerant so it is <laughs> quite challenging for me although fortunately like the milk and yogurt alternatives that I use are like pretty low in points so that is awesome um so for example my breakfast today because like if I'm not work days I normally just have a protein shake for breakfast because then I can have it while I'm at work because basically I'm going to share where I work but I'm a receptionist so I can't just sit and eat like a proper breakfast and I used to eat like this kind of breakfast before I went to work but then I found it was too early and I was getting hungry by like 10 o'clock and then you know it was ages till lunchtime um, so I started having protein shakes on work days and then like non-work days or as like a pudding type thing I'll have this which oh, hair everywhere story of my life come into better lighting I still look dead and you can see that spot even more now but there is 100 grams of Alpro soy yogurt um, I think all of the soy yogurt, like the Alpro one anyway, is free, but I still have like 100 grams just so I can utilise the pot a bit better. Um, then I've got four raspberries because over like 40 grams of raspberries is pointed and I don't understand because all fruit is meant to be free. Um, but I scanned it anyway and it said points. So I've put in 20 grams, which equals to four, and 20 grams of the Aldi berry protein granola which oh my god is so tasty and in my tea um i have i use i don't have sugar um i used to have sugar but i cut down in like mid-january and i haven't had a teaspoon of sugar in my tea since and i'm so impressed um so i don't have sugar and the milk that i use is the alpro oat milk although i bought bought rice milk the other day um because I, I don't know why I looked at it and I thought it was rice milk that I normally get and I was like oh it's just a different colour maybe they've changed the packaging got it at home and I was like oh no it is different but yeah I so I don't mind that either pretty much tastes the same um if a little better in tea because it doesn't really taste of anything although you do need a lot of it um Generally, I don't point for milk because all I would have is, I have my tea quite strong anyway, um, and I normally maybe have two cups of tea a day, I don't have any at work, I have one in the morning when I get ready, and then I generally have one when I get home, so it's, I think it would be free anyway for the amount of milk that I do have, so I don't point for it. Um, but yeah, today, I'm not sure how the point thing's gonna go because my dad is coming around for lunch and my grandma is cooking a curry and I am so excited because my grandma's cooking is just like <laughs> and the, oh, the smell in this house now is like insane I feel like this is not me being racist but I literally feel like I'm in India right now like it smells amazing <laughs> so yeah I'm not sure how that's gonna go down I know the chicken will be free and I think most of it because I think it's like chopped tomatoes maybe the curry paste which will probably be the only thing we point for and then like loads of spices which I think are free anyway so yeah anyway I'll try and show you that when we sit down to eat but for now I managed to like tidy most of the bits that were hanging around by putting them in the wash and doing that load of washing so that is on my timer is on for that I've got about an hour before I've got to sort that out so I'm just going to pop some moisturiser on now because my skin's feeling a little bit dry um, and then I'll catch you a little bit later. Right, I have been food shopping, kind of. 
I normally like to go, sorry, I'm just going to fiddle with the lighting. I normally like to go to Aldi, but um, it's not very accessible to me where I am, so I had to go to Asda. But I thought I would show you, one, what I got, just as like a little mini food haul because that's always fun. And two, kind of what the points are worth. Um, obviously, if you're not on Weight Watchers, it may not be applicable to you. I mean, you may not be interested, but I thought it might be kind of a little bit interesting. Um, I'm not going to like go into everything Weight Watchers related in this video. Um, but let me know in the comments if you want me to do like a like journey video um, and kind of what I'm doing and what I'm eating and stuff like that. Um, I will be doing what I eat in a day's, hopefully I might do a what I eat in a week um, when I stay up with Joe. but yeah, that will be coming. But anyway, I'm gonna do, dive into the food haul. So, I'll get the non-food things out of the way first. Um, I got two of these really adorable plates. Um, they are plastic. Um, I think they're, they're in with like the kind of seasonal garden-y section. They're like for picnics and stuff, but they're quite big. Like they're a normal dinner size plate. Um, and these were 150 each. Like I say, I got two. They have got quite a few things in this print at the moment. They had like a range of obviously the plastic, not crockery, but you know what I mean. Like they had a bowl with this on. They had like a plate, like a smaller side plate with like a bunny and it had like a, like, Thing in its not in its hair but like on its head with like this kind of floral print on it which was adorable and a couple of other things like a bag and stuff um but yeah i got them for future and i also got two of these plastic tumblers they are really adorable they're just kind of like almost tinted greeny kind of glass with little hearts on and again these were one pound fifty each they had like the wine glass versions of them as well but i thought these might be quite good i mean they're a good size does it even say what size they are no um but they're a good size for like i thought that maybe once obviously we're living together at the end of the year if like we have any visitors that have children or whatever it's obviously better to give them plastic rather than a glass so yes that or obviously going on a picnic or whatever good size so going on to the kind of more grocery stuff i did get a bottle of um sparkling water the apple and mango flavor um this is just because i'm really bad at drinking water like i've gotten a bit better at it recently like at work and stuff but when i'm at home i just feel like i need something with a bit more flavor to it else i just don't drink it um so i got this this has no points so that's good um, so we're going to fruit first. So most fruit and veg is free, um, apart from like potatoes, sweet potatoes, um, avocados because they're like high in fat, um, and a couple of other things I can't quite remember. Um, but I did kind of scan most of the stuff on the app and brought out the points value. Um, so I'll tell you what those are. Although most things I don't like fruit and veg, I just don't point for because it says it's all free so it's really kind of annoying when i scan the packet and it actually says there's points why is it getting brighter so is this lighting is just like awful i do know like i'm 100 aware how bad it is and how bad my skin is i'm getting another spot oh my god we're just gonna stay here it's a vlog it doesn't matter so two bananas generally I'll eat one or two a day, um, but I'll buy them on the day. So before I start work, I'll go into Sainsbury's and I'll get a couple of bananas. So I'll have like one in the morning and one for lunch. Um, purely because I like them when they're like just past the green. Um, I don't like them when they're really yellow or like they're covered in brown spots. I just don't like it at that point. So I never buy more than like two at once because then they go really quickly and then I don't eat them. So yeah. So I got them, got a bag of pink lady apples because they are my faves, £2 for four. Um, again, like I say, I don't, don't normally point for these, but when I scanned them, they were three points for like 100 grams and an apple's about 80 grams once you've decored it. Um, so I got beetroot, um, which I think was actually, it's pretty cheap. No, it's not. It's just £2 um, for a packet. And this is like one point per whatever you call these, like one 
beetroot thing. Um, you get like four in the thing, so one per thing, which isn't that bad. So I would cut up like half of one in a salad and it makes it just taste a bit more palatable. I got some already cut up butternut squash, which was a pound. Um, I know this seems really like lazy, but I just never have the time to like peel and cut a sweet, sweet potato, <laughs> butternut squash, and I just don't have the space to store it. So I thought, well, this would do me two like dinners. Um, and for half of the bag, it is one point. So, but again, that's not bad at all. We got some baby corn for change, which again, I think is free. I think it was like one point for 100 grams. So there's 130 grams in here. Um, and yeah, that was like 96p. And then I got some of the brand veggie rice, um, sweet potato rice. They do a couple of different variations. I think they're just different flavors of the cauliflower rice. And I'm not that keen on it. Um, but I thought I would give the sweet potato one a go because I quite like sweet potato. Um, and I was like scanning <laughs> all of the different packet rices in there. Um, again, for convenience, I work full time. I just don't have the time to be cutting up potatoes or cooking rice from scratch. Um, so yeah, the whole bag of this, I think it was four points for the whole packet. So two for half, which is really good. Because I would only have like half a packet at a time. And then I got three cup of soups, all three kinds. We've got the vegetable, tomato, and the tomato with basil, which I absolutely love. Um, weird thing is, the normal tomato is three points, and then the vegetable and the tomato and basil are four points. So they've just put basil in that, and it's gained an extra point, which I think is a bit ridiculous, because I don't think herbs and spices are pointed, but whatever, um, that's that. I stupidly, I've literally only just realised, obviously I'm home now, um, that they are on five for three pounds. That includes like the tinned soup and the cup of soups. And I've got three. Obviously the number three in the three pound stuck in my mind. I ended up paying 21p more and got two boxes less. So I'm a bit annoyed about that, but hey ho, so it'll be. Um, but yeah, I got these, again, they're just for convenience, that I can just have one, like, if I'm back really late, like, from the gym or whatever, I just literally just have one of these, or, like, even at work or whatever, as I, if I don't have anything for lunch, they're just in the cupboard, I can just grab one, um, and I'm going to leave some at Joe's as well, so I can have some there. And then the, oh, second to last thing I got was the Galaxy Instant Hot Chocolate. Again, I was going around scanning all of the different hot chocolates. I cannot stand the like low calorie, like whatever it's called ones, like the highlights, whatever they are, I just don't like them at all. It just tastes like dirty dishwater to me, so I just can't, can't bring myself to have that. So I was scanning like this, the Malteser one, and Whisper, and all of that, and this came out the lowest. Um, it is four points per serving, um, but it just gives me that bit of chocolate fix without being a chocolate bar, which obviously means one, it's lower in points, and two, in theory, it'll fill me up because it's got water in it, so it's made with water. Um, and that was one, how much were you? Oh, you were quite expensive, weren't you? £2.58, but it should last quite a long time because it's like 460 no 426 grams in there and it's like 25 grams per serving so yeah and then the last thing i got was the proper corn and sweet and salty popcorn this was quite surprising because i'm sure i scanned this before and it was like quite high um i guess because of the sh sugar um but this is two points per bag they're like 14 grams per bag um but yeah they're two points per bag and if you're calorie counting they're 60 calories so it is a bit of a win yeah so yeah it again it just gives me that little bit of a sweet something that i can just satisfy without being overindulgent so yeah anyway i'm gonna put all this stuff away and i will come back to you in a bit i'm sure there was something i was actually gonna say to you but I really can't remember for the life of me what it was
gang, it is about 20 past 8, yeah, almost 25 past 8. Um, so, I have been to the gym, albeit for, for not for very long. So today I only went for 20 minutes, um, so just walked on the treadmill for 20 minutes, and came back, had my dinner, and had a shower, and now I've just made a cup of tea, and I'm going to sit in bed with YouTube on, and I have a message. Who are you? It's Joe. Cool, yeah. So I'm going to reply to him. I need to charge my Fitbit as well, so I need to try and find the charger for that. I feel like I started to get stuff ready to go to Joe's, so that is there. It's a bit annoying really, because it's just like taking up space. Sorry, it's like boob shot. <laughs> um, also, oh my battery's about to die, so I need to charge that as well. Um, I haven't had to do that in a while. Um, I quit Weight Watchers. I quit. <laughs> I know I was literally talking to you about it like yesterday. I can't find my charger. There we go. I know I was literally talking to you about it yesterday, but I decided last night, I was like, right, I don't really have the money to be doing this. I'm still within my 14 days. I'm gonna just eat clean. Um, maybe not today. Um, but I'm like from here forward, so I quit. <laughs> Um, so I'll still do like healthy meal ideas, but then they may not be Weight Watchers friendly, so apologies. But anyway, before my camera cuts me off, because I really can't bother to find my other battery, I am going to bid you good night for this evening, and hopefully catch you tomorrow. And it's Wednesday tomorrow. Oh my god, this week is hopefully going to fly by. <laughs> it is so far anyway. Good morning, gang. I thought I'd show you a quick OTT again. It's super boring. I literally just got this plain black bodycon dress on from Primark. It was like a fiver. It's quite, I don't know if you even be able to see it. It's like ribbed. It's really faded now though, which is really annoying because I only washed it a couple of times before it faded. Um, long line cardigan again, Primark. And then I'm just gonna have tights and my ballet flats on. Um, my uniform, unfortunately, is just all black, so my outfits are going to be pretty boring. But yeah, I'm annoyed with my makeup again today because my foundation is too dark for me. Um, I have ordered another one. It was at Superdrug yesterday because I went to the gym. I didn't want to pick up the order um, and then not have anywhere to put it kind of thing. So I'm going to pick it up at lunchtime. So hopefully, not that you can tell in the camera really, my foundation <laughs> won't be too dark for me. For the rest of the week which is great but i am actually quite impressed with my eyeliner so songs and roundabouts anyway i'm gonna head downstairs it is 10 to 8 i'm gonna get all my shirt redder and head to work good evening gang it is almost half past six um as you may be able to tell i've just got out of the shower just washed my hair um that spot though. <laughs> really want to pop it. No good at Um but yeah, today's lunchtime task was to go to Sainsbury's and Superdrug to pick up some click and collect orders that I've done. So um I've just tried on all the stuff I got from Sainsbury's. Um and I just want to share one thing with you because if you're someone who wears like plain black leggings um quite a lot, I have a tip for you. Sorry, my face was feeling really dry. I need to put some moisture back into it. Um, yeah. So, these leggings are the best leggings ever. They're just the, what are they called? They are the luxury soft touch leggings. Um, they're normally £10, um, but I only get these, only ever get them when they do the TU 25% um, off. So it makes them 7 50 I think. Um, so yeah, they're just literally plain black leggings, but they are so nice. Um, they don't like ride down or anything. They they come up quite high waisted, um, even on me. Um, and these um, last quite a long time in terms of the color and like the stretch to them. Um, Cause I have found my ones that I have now are a little bit kind of 
baggy kind of around the knees once I've worn them for quite a long time um, like during the day um, and like around the waist they're a little bit baggy so um, yeah I thought I'll treat myself to some new ones when the offer was on um, I think it was couple, well a week or so now a week or so ago now so it won't be on anymore but yeah and then the bits I got from Superdrug, super boring, I got period supplies. And apologies, I'm pretty sure body form's probably not cruelty free, but I haven't found an alternative. I have tried Superdrug's own sanitary products, and oh my god, they are terrible. Um, and that is not something that I really want to scrimp on, um, or like, test out when I just don't know what I'm doing. Like, you will know when that time of the month comes. You just want to be safe and secure in the knowledge that your sanitary towel or tampons are working. And before anyone suggests a moon cup to me, or diva cup or whatever they're called, no. <laughs> it's just not for me. Um, the one thing that I do plan on doing, maybe to my, or maybe just a bit disgusting, um, but when we're um, me and Joe are living together, um, I will start to use the reusable um, sanitary towels and stuff. You can buy them online um, and that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to buy some. But while I'm living kind of between my grandma's house and um, the base that Joe's at at the moment and where it's communal washing, um, I don't really feel comfortable doing that. Um, but that is something that I plan on doing because I don't like obviously using these but for now it it has to do um, and then I got some makeup because as I mentioned this morning my foundation is way too dark for me um, I've been well I've used up one of the ones that I had which was actually I think it was this decanted in a pot so I managed to finish that up I was like right I need to finish some of my other foundations up now because they've all been open for quite a long time um, so I've been using the e.l.f. Flawless Finish, which I absolutely loved in summer last year because it's like so glowy. Um, but as you can probably tell, it is way too dark. Um, I have been mixing it with like lightning drops, but um, it's still too dark. So I thought I'd go back to my old faithful, um, gosh, exceptional wear, um, long lasting, apparently it's now anti-pollution um, foundation in the shade 12 Natural. And then I got two more of the Revolution Conceal and Define oh, concealers. Um, I've already finished a tube, which is my only bugbear with this. Like, I absolutely, wow. I absolutely love it as a foundation, but it runs out really quickly, which is really quite annoying. But hey, they were on through for two, and I needed the foundation anyway. And I think it was, this was 6 79 I think. Um, and these are £4 each, so I obviously got one for free. So I might even leave one at Joe's. Um, I'm going to leave kind of a basic makeup bag there so that if I do kind of forget anything um, or whatever, then I can always put makeup on still if I want to. Um, but yeah, that is this weekend's plans. Like the bag is already there, collecting things and stuff up on the top there. There's stuff that I need to put in it, but I thought, oh, I'll leave it on the side. So I need to put like a packet of these and stuff in there. But yeah. Um, anyway, I'm going to just put some moisturiser on, so I'm going to use the Body Shop Oils of Life Revitalising Fish Oil or whatever the hell it's called. Put my Fitbit back on and my engagement ring, because I cannot wash my hair with my engagement ring on because it rips my hair to shreds. Um, but first, because I do still need to run my fingers through my hair, I'm going to put some of my fave, um, is this even detangling spray? Oh it is, yeah, it's the Body Shop Rainforest Radiance Detangling Spray. Um, I think this has been discontinued now unfortunately. If you can still get a hold of this, it was in the sale for like a couple of quid. Um, it is so good. And it smells amazing. So yeah, oh if you saw a lot of Body Shop today, that's weird. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to pop my oil on so I can put my engagement ring back on and then I'm going to go make some dinner. Another pretty shitty vlog day. Um, but I'm only just getting back into vlogging and to be fair I haven't really done anything since I've had dinner. Um, 
literally, what have I done? I don't think I've done anything. I've just tidied up a bit, got my clothes ready for tomorrow. Whoa, over there on the door. Um, and I've just made myself a hot chocolate. And I've turned my computer on, ready to watch some YouTube. Um, I really need to do my bullet journal because it's already Wednesday, I think. And I haven't actually done this week's. Um, seems a bit silly. And any normal person would just be like, well, okay, not really got a lot going on for the rest of the week. I have next week. Um, we'll just start again next week. I can't do that. Um, I have to fill the gaps. So I will fill this week in, even though we have pretty much or almost finished the week by the time I end up doing it. So it'll probably end up being Friday before I actually do it because I'm meeting Kerry for some food tomorrow after work, so yes, I will get back quite late, mm. I'd imagine, I think about 8 o'clock, so what now? So yeah, I'm gonna leave it here for now, I will catch you in the morning, bye! My face seriously looks like shit. Right, so I'm dressed. Um, of course, I'm just wearing all black. Um, and again, this t shirt dress is just from Primark. It's just like a long line bodycon t shirt dress, black tights. Gonna have my cardigan on, a long line one that I had on yesterday, I think. And I'm not sure today whether I'm actually gonna wear boots or not got these boots from office and sale I haven't actually worn them yet they're like two-tone boots they're quite like short but I haven't managed to wear them in yet apologies for my tights they look bloody blue it's really annoying but um yeah I just think they look really cute and I know I'm gonna end up having blisters if I wear them and I've got like so much to do in the next kind of couple of days that um, like I don't really need blisters right now or sore feet so I don't know I need to do it at some point, I need to do it, I've had them over a month now the struggle is real oh hey look um yeah I don't know, I don't know what to do. I mean, they're not uncomfortable, but you know what I mean. Anyway, better look at my makeup in proper light. Oh, you can still see the moon. Can you see it? How cute. Um, but yeah pretty natural makeup the only thing I kind of do bold is this section because I find if I don't do that I don't even look like I've got makeup on there's no point so yeah makes me feel like me makes me feel alive and happy so that is what I go with what is the time 10 to 8 so, I need to make a swift decision on the shoe situation. Um, should I just wear them? Not that you can answer me. I'll wear them, because then, worst come to the worst, I can wear my flats tomorrow if my feet are sore, and I can wear like my Converse at the weekend. So, yeah. I've decision made it. What? I've made my decision. I'm going to wear them. So, it's just on, oh, it's just gone eight o'clock and I am home and the boots were fine. My feet are a little bit, like, sore, ah, oh, Jesus, sore across the top, not as sore as my stomach right now though. Oh my God. I had probably what I shouldn't have had for dinner, which I don't think is why my stomach feels like it does, but... Oh my god, the cramp. 
front and back. Oh, TMI, but keeping it real. Keeping it real. I'm not, not talking about period cramp. I'm talking about IBS cramp. Oh my fucking God. IBS type cramp anyway. Because of the bloody cyst on my ovaries, generally I only, uh, I only get this around the time of the month, like, almost like IBS type cramping, um, because of all the pressure build up, but fuck, I think it might be partly to do with what I've eaten, because, look at my stomach, <laughs> oh wow, I literally look about six months pregnant, maybe, yeah, Bye. So I'm going to swiftly bid you goodbye. I'm going to go to the toilet and um, I am going to have a shower straight after. Oh my, literally, seriously, like, I'm not even pushing this out. That is just, like, with my tights there. Oh, so uncomfortable. So yeah, I'm going to go to the toilet and have a shower. Hopefully the warm water will make everything feel better. And then I'm gonna take my makeup off and dive into bed. Because it feels like Friday, but it's not Friday and I still have Friday to contend with. Oops. So yeah, I will see you in a bit when my face looks like a pizza again. So, I'm back and like I say, look like a pizza. Fantastic. So, <laughs> Got a brilliant surprise there. Um, when I went to the toilet, that sounds really weird. Um, I do feel better, um, but I have also realised why I was in quite so much pain there. Um, and as I was explaining to you, generally I only get that kind of pain around the time of the month because of my cysts. Um, lo and behold, <laughs> Mother Nature's dead up early. Yay! Um, does mean it might fuck off by the time I have to travel up to Oxford though, which is brilliant, eh? Let's just hope it actually goes quickly. It's been pretty good for at least six months now. Like I used to be someone who, I'm just talking periods now, so soz. Um, if you're of the male um, kind, um, but yeah, sorry, um, I can't remember what I was talking about, yeah, over like the last six months or so, been pretty good, it's only really lasted like three or four days, it's been good, but yeah, I'm hoping this one's the same, and it's about good timing, although it does mean the legworks that I'm due to have on Saturday, and the one I had for weeks ago, bang on the same time, which does mean they're unfortunately more painful. Uh, I'm sure you'll be better by the time I land. When is it you're going for your leg wax? Saturday, Joe. I am going for my leg wax Saturday morning. So, yes. Anyway, I definitely feel like I'm allowed to eat my Easter egg now. Is that, that's, that's fine, right? Um, also explains this little friend, the typical hormonal spot. Um, so yes, it does unfortunately now mean I have to change my handbag around as well and find space for this. Cynthia, look, I'm using your little Eco Tools pouch. Again, TMI, but it's my fanny pack. My literal fanny pack. It's a pack for my fanny. Um, so yeah, right, I'm just gonna put my oil on. I might plait my hair tonight as well to get it out of my face. Cause I've got oil on. Oh, I don't even think I mentioned what I had for dinner. I had a Burger King, no regrets. <laughs> I had the, what is it called? The Big King, the one with like eight bits of bacon in. Mm, so good. I um. If ever I go to Burger King, I normally always have an XL bacon double cheese. 
because they are like, you know, there's nothing else in Burger King worth getting. I mean, I do like a chicken royale, but if I'm gonna have a chicken burger out of like a takeaway place, I'd rather have a chicken legend from McDonald's because they're so much nicer. Um, but yeah, fancied having a bacon king, though I did. And I did feel very full up afterwards, so yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna go put the kettle on and wash my hands and I will maybe speak to you again in a little bit. Although I feel like we've had quite a lot of information today. <laughs> maybe too much. I need to tidy up and I need to pack my bag so I might not go anywhere on Saturday because I really need to pack and I don't think I'm gonna get much chance to do it any other time. I'm going to meet um, my friend Lara probably on Sunday because um, I need her to help me do a couple of phone calls to Italy. Um, and then Monday, I have a busy day. I don't think I've really talked about next week. So Monday is my last day, like here, before I go up to Oxford. I really need to look at my coach. I'm booking that. I have to go for an x-ray first thing in the morning um, on my leg. Um, and then I've got my first legal part of the wedding. I've got my notice of marriage at the registry office, which is so scary. Um, I've already asked the girl at work who's getting married at the end of this month um, what kind of questions they ask, just so I'm prepared. Um, so that's fine. So I've got that and then a couple of hours later I'm going to be getting another filling done. Um, and if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that the week prior to this, so two weeks ago as you see this, um, I had two fillings um, on Tuesday. So I have one up here and one down here. <sighs> and I was not best pleased. I still got pain in my gum on the bottom here. So I did say to her, I might not have the injection next time, but we shall see, because this one's a replacement. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's my Monday, which is fantastic. And then Tuesday, hopefully, fingers crossed, I do need to look at them tonight to see that it's still available. I'm gonna get what I normally do up to Oxford um, when, the bank is like not not so what would you call it it's not looking so juicy i get mega bus from southampton to oxford it's only like well it takes about the same time as getting the train um and it's more chilled um so yes i usually do that because it's only like a pound and then the booking fee so it's like pound 50 for the whole thing um don't really only get a single because um, I think this time Joe's going to drive me back down here because which we're sat on right now on my Mac is going to go back to Joe's so I've got somewhere to properly put it um, and hopefully use it and we're going to like go out for dinner with my grandma and stuff and it's all going to be very nice um, yeah just before he goes to Italy and I go back to work but yes anyways I'm probably actually going to leave it here for now because I just want to kind of just chill I've had a long day and it's felt like Friday all day and it's so annoying that it's actually not Friday. So yeah, I'm going to go put the kettle on and I will probably speak to you tomorrow morning. Good evening gang. How nice is this? It is 25, almost 25 past five. Oh, British summertime, I love you. Is it technically British summertime? Whatever it is, I don't know. It's technically spring, anyway. So, it is Friday. It is officially hair wash day and I'm so excited. I've noticed this in my hair and I'm not, best pleased. He didn't blend that bit very well. So I think I might be sending them a picture of that and saying, is that going to fade by itself? Because it's a bit awkward. Because obviously I don't have it, um, an appointment booked in until June now to get it um, cut and coloured. So it's going to be a bit weird. If, it'd be alright if I could hide it, but I can't because it's literally right at the front. <laughs> so yeah. Anyways, I need to do a load of washing tonight as well because I feel like I'm going to end up 
this is always the way like if I try and have like a kind of chill weekend or chill to a degree um I always end up having other stuff to do and I just never end up getting to do it um getting to do stuff that I either need to do or to chill out so yes anyway like I said it's time to go vush mahar and then I'm gonna go do some dinner which tonight is going to be um, like a Mediterranean veg thing that I pre-cooked the other day which consists of aubergines, courgettes, peppers, mushrooms and baby corn um, and then some of the heck chicken sausages. I'm gonna put two chicken sausages in there and I might do like half a packet of like microwave rice or quinoa or something like that just to give it a little bit of bulk although I'm kind of debating that because oh my god this vlog is going to be all over the place but you know I said the other day that I'd quit Weight Watchers well when I cancelled my membership on um, via email they replied saying oh okay we've taken that into consideration and your um, subscription will end on like the 22nd of June so I'm going to move you so it's not too dull um, it will end then and I was like well the reason I cancelled it was because I can't really afford it um, but yeah so they haven't replied to that and I don't know if they're going to so I'm kind of like well I probably should just stick to it maybe not religiously although I did weigh myself today it's going to be the last time I do it for quite a while because um, I don't like to weigh myself that often I prefer just to measure myself but I did weigh myself today out of curiosity I have gained five pound now if you follow me on Instagram you would have seen that two weeks ago um, I lost two pound and I have gained five brilliant so I'm three pound heavier than I started already which is fantastic I am partially putting that down to it being the time of the month but we can't all blame that, can we? We can partially also blame the Burger King that I had last night. Oops. So yes. Anyways, I'm going to jump in the shower so I can wash my hair, take my makeup off, and get doing my dinner and putting my load of washing on so I can get all that ready for packing. Oh my god, I get to pack tomorrow and it is so exciting. Oh my god, he's coming home. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm put the radio on and see what comes on. Mr. Jack, I love this song. 